After our last study, Dr. Lily decided to keep in touch with Mrs. Seal. Who is this little cutie? This is little Ota. She's growing so fast. Oh, she's adorable, isn't she? She is. Actually, would you mind telling me how you plan on raising your little baby? You know, you as an eared seal. I'm all ears. <laughs> Within the pinniped clade, sexually mature females typically give birth to a single pup each year. The primary form of parental care in pinnipeds is lactation, i.e. milk production. Mothers use their energy reserves during lactation to produce the energy and nutrient-rich milk which is used to feed pups. Lactation is the most energetically expensive period in any mammal's life. Within the pinniped clade, there are two lactation strategies. The two pinniped groups evolve different breeding strategies. Otterids, the eared seals, exhibit a foraging strategy where they forage and feed young. Phocids, the earless seals, on the other hand, exhibit a fasting strategy in breeding. They do not hunt during the period when they are feeding their young. This means they lose weight during the lactation period. The phocids fasting strategy is also known as a capital breeding strategy. During this time, female phocids rely on their stored reserves, their blubber, which are accumulated in advance of breeding in order to provision their young. The otterid strategy is also known as the income breeding strategy. They continue to feed intermittently throughout lactation, alternating between nursing pups on shore and feeding at sea. After giving birth, otterid mothers nurse pups for around a week before going back to sea to forage for 1 to 14 days. After replenishing energy and nutrient reserves, otterid mothers return to feed their pups for one to three days. This cycle is repeated until the pup is weaned and able to forage and feed self-sufficiently. Depending on the species, weaning in otterids takes place between age four, uh, <laughs> the age of four months to three years. But how did maternal life history traits and lactation strategy co-evolve? What explains the maternal strategies observed in the otterids? It has been hypothesized that the maternal strategy exhibited can be explained by the maternal body mass. The smaller size of female otterids means they are unable to store enough blubber mass to support lactation over a sufficient period until the pup is weaned and therefore have to replenish energy during the lactation period by feeding at sea. In addition, the small body size of otterids is associated with higher costs of carrying stored energy reserves further constraining or limiting energy, energetic availability for lactation. In contrast, female phocids are generally larger than female otterids. They are therefore able to store larger energy reserves in the form of blubber. This enables them to withstand costly lactation while fasting for longer. The resulting higher level of fat transfer to pups in turn leads to shorter lactation periods in phocids than in otterids. However, it should be noted that there is an overlap in body size between capital breeding phocids and income breeding otterids. This indicates that the body fat mass hypothesis is insufficient to fully explain observed variation in maternal strategies. We've also got the seasonal productivity hypothesis. The period of time otterids spend lactating is negatively correlated with latitude, i.e. otterid species which inhabit high latitude marine environments exhibit shorter lactation periods than otters inhabiting low-latitude marine environments. For example, the Galapagos fur seal, an otterid which breeds on the low-latitude Galapagos Islands, experiences lactation periods spanning between one and three years, the longest of any otterid species. In contrast, the high-latitude Antarctic fur seal has a lactation period of only four months. Likewise, the lactation period of subpolar fur seals, which inhabit a highly seasonal environment, appears to be genetically fixed with pups consistently weaned four months after birth. The seasonal productivity hypothesis has been used to explain this observed correlation of maternal strategy with latitude. Otterids, which inhabit marine environments of low latitude, are exposed to variable, unpredictable food productivity. In contrast, otters inhabiting high latitude areas experience more predictable marine environments which have high seasonal productivity. 
High productivity and prey availability in high latitude seasonal marine environments permits the rapid acquisition of energy reserves in mothers. This in turn permits the rapid transfer of energy via milk to pups and therefore helps to explain the shorter duration of lactation observed in otters of higher latitudes. In addition, otters in high latitudes are restricted in the duration of lactation due to the requirement for pups to be weaned before the onset of winter. However, otterids which inhabit temperature, uh, temperate or tropical regions are able to extend the time it takes to wean pups in response to decreased food abundance. We also observe a difference in mammary regression in pinnipeds. Milk is produced and secreted by the mammary glands. In mammals, the removal of a suckling stimulus and removal of milk typically causes involution of the mammary glands, resulting in the glands returning to their previous pre-pregnancy state and so no longer producing milk. However, otterids are able to undertake foraging trips of up to 14 days without experiencing mammary involution. How this is achieved in otterids is still not understood and requires further study. In contrast, in the harbour seal, a phocid species, mammary involution is initiated after suckling stimulus is removed for only a day. The mammary glands of otterids therefore appear to have diverged from those of phocids, enabling otterid mothers to leave their pups for greater periods to undertake prolonged foraging trips. The breeding substrate hypothesis gives further insight into pinniped maternal behaviour. The prolonged lactation period of otterids compared to phocids may also be explained by difference in breeding substrate. Some phocids give birth and care for pups on ice packs. However, this is an unstable substrate and separation of mothers and pups can occur when ice packs break up as a result of strong winds and waves. Therefore, the short period of lactation in these phocids may have been selected for in order to ensure weaning of pups is completed before ice packs break up. In contrast, most otterids give birth on land, and so with no risk of being separated from pups through movement of substrate, they may have been released from the selection pressures for accelerated weaning, enabling the development of otterids' prolonged lactation periods. Pinnipeds, including otterids, exhibit wide variation in maternal strategy. While the cause of this variation is not fully understood, it appears to be the result of several factors, including maternal body size, mammary gland adaptations, breeding substrate and latitude, a proxy for productivity of the marine environment. These differences have led to evolutionary divergence between both pinniped families. And so the seal and scientists continued their tea time.